Let's make this leopard print pumpkin with Dollar Tree items and scraps. Keep watching. I'm going to start off with just some florals and some things that I think I might want to use and just a folder. It's a metallic um, big cat print. It's leopard or cheetah, whichever one. I'm going to take this little pumpkin from Dollar Tree, pull that off. I think I'm going to use the side with the print on it, cover that up and I'll still have the back as a plain color. So I'm just going to take this folder. You can use paper, construction paper, you can use um, crafting paper, wrapping paper, whatever you want with whatever print. Since this is on trend, I thought we would give this one a shot. I cut a little bit to the inside of the line to make sure that I get a good fit on the front. And I'm just gonna fold down that lip there from the folder and cut that off. Okay, so because I don't want my edges or the sides where I might have missed it a little bit, I don't want it to show, so I've got my choice of two brown paints here. I'll have those colors in the description box for you below. So I've decided on the lighter one, matches a little bit better. I'm going to go ahead and get my favorite paintbrush. And I don't need to waste paint, so I'm just going to go around the edges here so it won't show if I made a miscut. And then all around just the edge, um, the edges of the pumpkin on the sides. I did do two coats of these and I used a hair dryer to help facilitate the drying process. But you can just set it aside and make sure that you let it dry before you go any further. Trying to be careful to leave that back solid orange because at some point I might want to do a little something different on the back side. All right, we're back and it's all dry and you can see that it dried a little bit darker. And then I'm going to take my glue gun with my Gorilla Glue Sticks and go around the edges, but not so close that it squishes out. We want it to have a nice finished look. So I'm just applying that all there. One strip down the middle. You know me by now, I like to take things apart and repurpose them so I don't want to have a mess to have to tear off at some point later okay so I thought maybe I would try these this color combination I thought would look nice but eh, I really could not get I, I, I couldn't do it I'm just a rustic kind of girl and I just felt like this needed a more rustic look I mean they're wild animals for God's sake so we want to make this look more safari like or more woodsy or jungle like so I've taken a Dollar Tree leaf and then a scrap leaf that I already had. I trimmed that, the one that's already down, I trimmed it up a little bit. And then I'm just going to trim this one up as well into two leaves. And I have decided that I want to make a the little tendril that comes off the pumpkins, the little twirlies. So I'm just taking a piece of this wired jute from Dollar Tree, wrapping it around my pen, and then I'll slide that off. And it just takes a little hot glue on the ends and twist it back so that it stays down if it starts to come unraveled on you, which I have already done. And I'm going to glue that to stem. Now I gotta get the right placement for these leaves. You can do it any way you want to. If you want to stand it up and put them on the top sides, you can do that however you want to do it.
All right. So I want to make sure it didn't come off of my paper. I added some more glue to it. And I'm just going to layer in some more leaves. I did find one more leaf that I wanted to put in there in the back. And it came off of Dollar Tree Floral. So I'll just be adding that in too. I'm not sure what happened with the lighting there, but I'm working on it. So there you have it. And there's our completed pumpkin. It is our leopard or a cheetah print, wild cat, big cat decor. Just adding this little bow back on there because it needed a little extra love. I'd love for you to subscribe, like this video, and comment down below if you would like to see more. Bye.